Hey oh my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here and welcome back to another episode of Park Spotlight. And in today's video we're going to be looking at MKP Columbus World created by Nimzol. So stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, this was sent in by one of our Discord advanced builders, Nimzol, and he says here, Hey Johnny, this is my very first park and planet coaster. It's based on the Conqueror's Era. It has four themed eras, uh, Savella, New World, Old Civilizations, and the Pirate Island. Eight roller coasters, two water rides, one dark ride, two transport rides, two hotels. One of them was my entry into the Planko Shop Contest, water and fireworks show, and many rides and shops. Do not forget to visit the park also at night. In case you need more than one day to visit the park, you have a hotel room booked. It's room 105 of Hotel Alcazar. <laughs> Alcazar. That's a hard one to pronounce. And you will find it near the log flume. No workshop items has been used in this park. Thank you so much for your wonderful work. Wow, you are very welcome, good sir. Uh, no workshop items. That means everything here he built himself. I'm going to also assume that some of the stuff in here is um, turned into blueprints, uploaded on his workshop. So if you guys see something you like in here, be sure to go check out the links down below and uh, go visit Nimzel's workshop. Give him a follow and check out some of his creations and Nims will be sure to apply for that workshop review posted in the announcements channel uh, as I definitely think this is some expert master quality work and you are sitting at advance right now. All right guys with no further ado let's get going into this. Here's a bird's eye view of the whole park. I think this is a phenomenal park and if we zoom all the way out I really like the shape of it all. Uh, it comes together really nice with the kind of the moat and the uh, rivers kind of separating all the different four sections. It looks stunning. There's a ton of amazing looking coasters in here as well. Uh, it's overall a very exciting park and uh, a fresh theme and interesting take on uh, on the building designs that we have not really seen too much in Planet Coaster yet. So really good job at doing something out of the ordinary and something extraordinary. Very good job on this one today. So let's take a closer look at all this. Actually, you know what, before we do anything, before I forget, I want to find this hotel he was talking about. He said it was located room 105 Hotel Al Alcazar. You can find it near the log flume. Where's this log flume? Is this it? It looks like a river rapids. Whoa, there's the log flume. That does not look like the hotel. Hmm, this is a hotel. But it's not the name. It's a Q. There it is. Room 105. <laughs> Missy Goods. Now, oh. I was, I was wondering if he was for real. I'm curious to know if there's like an Easter egg in the room or not. Room 105. Channel 5 Gaming. Oh, I got a TV. Johnny Five Live Channel 5 Gaming. Oh, that is amazing. Thank you so much. That is so kind of you. <laughs> Love it. All right. Now we've got a good rest, guys. Let's check out the park entrance and make our way through. We're on pause mode today with zero guests. Another super mega park. <laughs> so we, I feel like we feature so many parks, but we've never seen a single guest in any of them. <laughs> It's the one downside to making parks too big in Planet Coaster. The bigger you go, the less guests you can have. And everyone likes to go so big that we can't have a single guest. But the nice side, the plus side to that is uh, we got VIP access to a park all to ourselves. This shot here coming through, the crossing the opening bridge, looking at this coaster is quite phenomenal. Running through this gully. Wow. And I love the little... Uh, you know, king carpet here we got going on here. This is uh, quite an extraordinary park entrance. Look at the building designs. If you haven't done this, uh, Nimzel, do upload all of these to the Steam Workshop. I think it'll pad your workshop quite nicely. And I mean, pad, padding, pad in a positive way. I don't think it's best to upload every little thing that you do. But I think a lot of these blueprints, these buildings, these restaurants, everything that you've constructed here, these themselves, you can see here, that's a great blueprint. A thousand piece blueprint there. I mean, you have them all sectioned off, so it wouldn't be too hard to save them and throw up some screenshots. Because uh, these are amazing, and I think a lot of people would love to use these in their parks. Uh, I haven't looked at your workshop yet, but I'm going to assume you've uploaded them. And if you haven't, please do so, because these are 
phenomenal. Look at this cathedral. That is breathtaking. And this is all for a coaster station. Wow. Really good job. Yeah, very extraordinary architecture here. I quite like it. It's nice, refreshing, new. A waterfall coming down with a log flume. That looks great. Wowie. There's a loop around. Make sure I didn't miss anything. That was where we came in. Ooh. Very vibrant. Another look at that coaster there. Oh boy. All right, let's try and work our way around the park clockwise. What do we have here? Holy moly. Beautiful vistas. Train crossing, nice touch. Oh, computer's exploding. Do a 360. All right, a little back pathway here to the parking lot. And that's where the hotel is, it makes sense. Oh, I like this little, oh, you got a floating lamp. <laughs> Whoops, <laughs> got a little back walkway here. That's quite nice. Get a look up at the coaster as you're walking by. I really like this. Although we are missing out on all the park doing this. <laughs> uh, Worth it. Ah. That is quite phenomenal. What a nice bridge. Does this pathway take us around the whole freaking park? It just might. Hey, every time you stop and look, though, there's some amazing shots there. We don't really see this too much. It's kind of nature walks. In built into parks. All right, I'm gonna assume it goes around the whole park. It does. That would probably be a first. It kind of cuts down here, though. Oh no, it continues on. I don't know why I'm so fascinated by this surrounding pathway. It's a good idea, though, because uh, if this, if this park were to have you know, a full 5,000 guests. They can take this pathway around the outside and get to wherever they want, get lost a bit, but still find their way back. It, it just, it kind of brings it all together. I quite like that. All right, let's, let's figure out where I got distracted. I went down there. Let's go check this area out. So we've got a whole Caribbean area. It's an interesting walkway. What is this? Wow. Oh, it's a squid. Holy moly, great terraforming. Oh, that's quite a nice touch to a Caribbean area. It's like a squid, but then he's like holding the coast of a village here. Holy crap. You got some shops and stuff down here. That is a beautiful design. This is what I like to see from uh, Caribbean pirate stuff. Doing something out of the ordinary because pirate is quite a generic theme, I, I think. You know, most people who dis build with it, design with it, they, they kind of all turn out looking very similar. But um, incorporating the squid there, oh, that's the squid's eye that you're going through, and then holding it into a cove makes it feel very adventurous and unique so quite a good job there all right what do we have in here got a coaster station we got a look at that when we were walking through the surrounding park area a little castle ah that's a little eatery you're gonna watch a play some bathrooms, chill area. Very nice. And you got the Rocktopus outside the squid. Very suitable. Oh, I, I really love that concept. And what do we have over here? A snail? <laughs> That's a snail. Great uh, terraforming. I quite like this. 
All right, let's go through the snail cave. Wow, great uh, moss work. We have a temple over there. I like your take on the Adventure DLC. Ooh. This coaster looks amazing. <laughs> Holy Toledo's. Oh, look at this like a uh, little bridge work here. That's nice. This is such a uh, vibrant and inviting park. I quite like it. I like the nature walk around the outside. I mean, so many good things to say about this. The terraforming is amazing. Tons of elevation, water, great vistas. I mean, you really nailed it. Love the colors of the coasters as well. What do we have over here? I mean, your uh, nature and floral work is amazing. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Is this another creature? Like a snake? Yep. Got some eyes on that snake. Wrapping around the uh, log flume there. The coaster's even wrapping around it. Huh. I love it. I love seeing people do creative things with the terraforming. It's a it's such a useful tool, but often an ignored. Um, a lot of the times when we see these mega parks, some people just kind of, they don't even do anything with the terrain. Maybe a couple of rivers or a lake in the center, but generally a lot of the mega parks that we've seen kind of have flat terrains. I like people doing, challenging themselves with the terrain like this because it creates such interesting shots. You can see this cove coming over here and then you have the height of the coasters around, the height of the trees and that's how you really get a captivating looking park with these just uh, amazing shots with lots of depth to them and I think you've really done a good job of it here. Even built the coaster into this big tower here, that's quite a cool idea. Holy moly. Yeah, uh, wow, we even got this one going underground there. Yeah, definitely challenge yourself with the terrain, guys. I want to see more parks like this um, and more height variation in your parks. I think this one does a really good job of it. You know, generally, it doesn't feel like it has too much height, but it's just enough. And when you're on the ground level, uh, it definitely has a presence where... There are a lot of mountains and hills from the eye's perspective. So it doesn't need to be overboard. But when we saw stuff like from Mad where he did Coaster Mountain and he challenged himself to build a village on a mountain, that was very impressive and I do love seeing that stuff. There's just so many micro details throughout this whole park. It is uh, quite captivating. All right, where do we even begin with these rides? This transport ride looks quite cool. Does it go underneath the... Wow. Uh, for the... Tra Let's just follow the track of the transport ride, because if we, <laughs> we actually ride it, it'll take ages. But, um, you know, looking left and right, no matter where you look, the park is so well detailed. So I think it's worth a, just at least a flyby. Um, so we could take a look at where what the guests would experience if they were riding this. Oh, we're going backwards, but that's okay. Yeah, look at these uh, shots. This is stunning. So well done. Where are we going? Oh, here's a little drop-off point. Looks like there's a little fireworks show in the center there. Yeah, I think the the placement of your coasters is really smart as well. Every time like the terrain is kind of going high to low, then you you come out and you see these great shots of these coasters. It's phenomenal.
That is a long ass boat ride. And I think we're back to where I started. Whew. All right. Let's uh, do some coasters. I'm not sure. Um, I think this River Rapids is going to be quite enjoyable, actually. Let's start off with the River Rapids. Okay, we got the Rolling River. There's the stats if you guys want to see them. And let's do this.
Wow, definitely a beautiful River Rapids and some of those shots that you present us and there's like kind of unveils itself and you see these amazing coasters. Uh, really good placement and uh, composition. Yeah, the, the compositions are amazing. It's, it's <laughs> breathtaking. Wow. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see here. I don't want to do two water rides back to back, but I'm sure that log flume would be pretty good too. Let's uh, ride one of these big grandioso coasters. Let's do the one that goes right up the tower there. MKP Cathedral. There's the stats if you guys want to see them. Oh, wow. That is one of eight amazing coasters. We are getting spoiled today in today's video. Holy moly. This one looks interesting as well. He, I, Before I forget, he did ask me to. Don't forget to look at the park at night, he said. So here we go. Holy moly. Color bomb. <laughs> He's lit up all the coaster tracks. Holy crap. That is amazing. Oh, look at the squid. Rainbow Road much over here. Wow. They certainly do have a nice glow to them. Might be a little overkill from the bird's eye perspective, but I'm sure, you know, riding some of these coasters on ground level, the colors kind of stay in their area. You get a glimpse of some very vibrant ones in the background. This orange one, that looks crazy. Might have to ride one of these at night. Maybe the Rainbow Road or something. We will see. Okay, this one looks quite interesting. What do we have here? Uh, inverted four-seater. There's the stats, guys. Let's dive right on into this. Wow, two for two. Brilliant coaster design so far. Very smooth coaster tracks. Wow, this is a treat, you guys. 
Uh, I think this log flume is definitely going to be worth a check. So we're here now. Let's check it out. There's the stats. We're going to go two times speed on the log flume. Holy moly, Nimzel, uh, some of the most breathtaking shots that I've ever seen on a log flume. I almost feel bad for speeding it up because, uh, yeah, some of these views are just so stunning. And going through the uh, cathedral there was very impressive. Look at that. Come through here, see all the glass in the eating area. Holy moly, you did a really good job at showing off all your details and revealing, uh, again, those um, the compositions are stunning. And like as we were coming through here, there's just, just enough of an opening to see all of that detail. As we come up here, you direct us towards the tower. All the elements that you put hard work into, you did a very good job at showcasing it throughout the ride and we got to look at a good portion of the park from all different angles while riding that log flume. Uh, definitely doing it right here today, Nimzol. The uh, advanced builders are coming forward. Some very strong creations. Holy moly. Okay, another coaster, guys. The Commodore. Let's do this.
<laughs> what can I say? These are phenomenal coasters. Uh, I, th I think it helps that you put so much detailing into all the areas around your coasters that we pass by it all. It's just visual overload. I love it. Okay. Um, what do we have here? Spinning coaster. Wrapping around that squid. The octopus. Let's do this. wasn't a whole lot of spinning on that coaster. Um, it was making me wonder if I should have rode it in seat view or not. But as soon as we hit about here, it started to spin a bit. Uh, that was very cool, though. I like the way it wraps around the uh, octopus. Holy moly. This is too much fun, you guys. Uh, where to next? Let's do this. El Dorado. The Iron Fury steel-topped hybrid. You guys, I am really in love with this park. I don't know what it is. I think, you know, when we see these big themed areas, we usually see kind of like the coasters off to the side. There's some theming involved. But I think what's really making this park so awesome is the fact that he's integrated the coaster into the theme everywhere. It wraps in and out, twists in and out. It comes all about the theming everywhere i mean the the whole area is encompassed by the coaster itself and the attention to detail and again the compositions and elements oh well, that's a birdie um you, like as we're coming through here see the waterfall the snail and all the wrapping details and the floral work it just it's so stunning and even just where we're we're finishing the ride and going through on the drive wheels i just can't stop gushing over it really uh really good job definitely so far one of my favorite all-time parks uh, and that's saying a lot 100 and something episodes in it's just something so nice about this okay let's do another coaster guys M mkp quetzal and what do we have here floorless werewolf
Love the colors on that one. I did think there could be a little bit more smoothing in between some of the transitions on this coaster. Uh, you can see it from the brighter perspective. It looks pretty smooth looking at it here. Just some tiny, tiny, tiny bits of uh, transitional smoothing would have been good on this one, but it was pretty darn awesome, I must say. Very long. Oh boy, alrighty, we have a huge one over here. Um, he said there was a dark ride somewhere in here that we're going to have to look for. We will do that. So what do we have here? Hyper Coaster. Let's give it a go. That has got to be the craziest uh, brake section. Holy moly, flying all the way through this building with brakes. So much speed on that one. Definitely felt like you were soaring above the jungle. Almost would have been a little bit better to have that as your winged coaster. Uh, I definitely felt like I was flying along there. That is quite incredible. Now, did we ride this one? It looks like we have a, a kiddie coaster down here. Oh, Junior Wendigo. Okay, we're not done yet, guys. Let's uh, ride the back of the train on this guy. Seat view. Car 16. Yeah. I have to say as well, um, usually when I go up lifts and I look to the left and the right, there's a lot of details left out, and I think this park, hands down, has had the best left and right experiences on all the coaster lifts. It just makes the experience that much better. That was a great Wendigo. I love it. Interacting with the train yet again. Felt like I was going on an adventure. That's what I love to see from a Wendigo. Okay, uh, did I miss any coasters? I feel like I didn't. But there is a dark ride hidden somewhere in this attractions list. So let's see if I can find it here. Okay, we found a tracked motion Huntsman. This has got to be it. Let's put this to nighttime and give this a ride.
<laughs> First time we've seen a dark ride based around mice and uh, rat problems are definitely an issue in this era. So I think it was very fitting. Holy moly, I did say I was going to ride one of these coasters at night. Let's probably do this rainbow coaster because why not? It's so vibrant. Let's actually do cinematic. you guys so many great coasters so many great themes in this theme park here today i want to know what your guys's favorite coaster is and why down in the comments below if i had to pick one myself i think i would probably go with the uh hybrid rmc uh, it wasn't the craziest coaster design but i think the theming the environment the vibrance and the immersion factor was off the charts and sometimes that can make a coaster experience that much better it doesn't have to be pure design however we had some almost pure design and, and lesser theme mean with these big two hyper coasters that were very nice but if i had to pick one of those uh i would probably go with the torque launch coaster he took advantage of the uh double linked inversion there which was very cool interwoven into the cathedral here went through the town and it also had that great immersion factor and vibrance throughout the uh forest here so i think those two would be my favorites but i really did thoroughly enjoy all the coasters in this park i enjoyed the park top to bottom and as i said in the middle of there somewhere that I said that this might just be one of my all-time favorite parks for some reason. I think the terraforming, the attention to detail, even the log flume and water rides were just, they showcased everything. Going up the lifts on every single coaster, we had a nice revealing, uh, we got a look at something when we got to the top, and as we're looking to the left and right, just, it's so beautiful. The amount of views that we got, and it just made those lifts so much more entertaining. So, um, I think for all those reasons, it just comes together as definitely one of my, you know, it's, it's it's definitely in my top top five parks i really like this one so great job nimzel definitely apply for that workshop review and um I'm, I'm super excited to see what you do next uh keep all those positive things that i said in mind when you go into your next park uh what you're doing you're doing it right so just keep on doing you man uh and i i can't wait to see the next submission you do so next time you finish a park give me a ping and you will definitely get that priority pass in front of the queue you and i will definitely be excited about jumping into your next creation here boom there you go guys if you want to check out the park yourself links are down in the description below go check out nimzel's workshop give him a rating follow him and all that good stuff and that's going to do it for this episode of park spotlight everybody if you guys enjoy please be sure to smash that like button if you're new to the channel subscribe for more daily planet coaster videos and if you guys would like to support the show to keep it going you can do so by becoming a patron all right everybody thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you all have an awesome day and i'll see you guys in the next video bye now <laughs>